Over the past 25 years, CDD Ghana has struck remarkable wins in the democracy and governance landscape in Ghana and on the continent. From empowering ordinary citizens through data-driven research to safeguarding electoral integrity, championing transparency and accountability, and advocating for inclusive development, the center's journey has been defined by impactful initiatives and steadfast dedication. Now, to celebrate our 25th anniversary, we embarked on an outreach program in three regions across the country. The goal of the outreach program was to provide our stakeholders a platform to assess our works and receive feedback. Now, in this short summary video, we talked to some beneficiaries of CDD-led initiatives and what was gathered from the outreach. First, our research analyst, Gilfred Esiama, who led the team on the Western Regional Outreach, gave highlights of what was gathered. At the engagement, we got to know from them the things that we've been doing well, um, some of the gaps that we have over the past 25 years and also to satisfy their curiosity um, about the way we operate as an organization. So um, on the things that people um, want to see us doing better, it's around our advocacy. They want to see CDD Ghana more vociferous on the issues that come up um, in the country, especially issues around economic governance, economic mismanagement. Again, people um, are also expecting or they've been expecting CDD Ghana to consistently uh, be promoting and championing local government or local governance. We got to know that um, when it comes to the practice of local government, um, it is very weak at the local level. Again, they also want to see CDD Ghana uh, championing the election of MMDC that was promised by this government. We also got to know that people are also more interested in CDD Ghana taking up um, the inclusiveness agenda and then promoting the rights of persons living with disability. So these are things that people uh, felt um, we haven't been doing much and they want to see us doing better. Very insightful feedback from the Western region. Now let's move the train to the Ashanti region where Paul of Saikopor led a team on the outreach. When we had the conversations, it came out strongly that a lot of the stakeholders really appreciate what we do as a centre, especially the kind of knowledge products and evidence that we produce. Uh, they specifically mentioned our work around Afrobarometer. They also spoke about our election work. And for election, uh, one of the key points had to do with Kodio. They were very clear about what they want CDD to do. They want us to connect strongly with the grassroots. Uh, they think that our work, much as it's decentralized, there is still a lot of openings and spaces for us to connect strongly with local actors, uh, the various citizen groups at, at the local level. Uh, I can mention the, the substructures, the area councils, the urban councils, especially where citizens really operate their day-to-day -day living and where livelihoods can, can be meaningfully impacted. That is at the community level. So they want us to interrogate policies and programs deployed by government that seeks to benefit communities and localities. Another major recommendation uh, had to do with how we enhance inclusion for young people. They think that CDD must diversify strongly our actors and players that we engage at all levels. So we should have a strong and a very robust program that will engage young people over a long period of time in a very strategic, coordinated way. Then the last one also was about how we, it's also about diversity, how we bring on board our audience and stakeholders who are not used to the Queen's language. And basically, how do we embed strongly local languages in our programs and activities? Well, you heard it all from the Ashanti region. Now let's move all the way up north 
where Mavis Zubok Domi, research analyst, and Dr. Adam Selumi, director of research, led the team to meet the Tamale stakeholders. The Tamale engagement, which forms part of our 25th anniversary engagement with stakeholders across the country, has been great. It was great. It brought together stakeholders across civic space, media, individuals, youth, women, campaign financing. They felt that that area has not been regulated and have brought a lot of issues. And so CDD should champion work around regulating uh, campaign financing in the country. The other issue that particularly from the youth and the women that they wanted to see CDD doing more on is the issue of uh, their involvement in civic space. We want to see CDD working more around championing and advocating and promoting women and youth engagement in civic spaces. People really spoke their mind on issues and uh, CDD's work. It was really great hearing from people, me working at CDD, uh, some of the things they were saying, I was surprised because in as much as you measure your impact, it is good hearing from the people you work with have engaged with in one way or another what they think your impact have been. It wasn't business as usual. It's not because they came for a training program and it is not because uh, we are collaborating with them to carry out a project or an activity but just having feedback from them. It was really revealing that uh, what they thought CDD can do, the power that CDD have to impact on democracy and governance. It's, it's great knowing the amount of trust that people have in you, the amount of confidence that people have in you to do certain things. Now you heard it from the team leads. Is a 10 of the beneficiaries of CDD-led initiatives this was what they had to say. Uh, CDD has done so well over the years. Uh, even today, I've gotten to know that some of the very important activities that uh, are associated with our democratic practice are being uh, sponsored or initiated by CDD Ghana. Uh, issue, uh, as for the Afro Barometer, uh, data. I am aware of it. Some of us in academia have made use of it. Uh, I have done about two or three papers in relation to that. That's a very useful data uh, set. Then I didn't know it was CDD that also sponsored activities of uh, CODEO and then the district leak table. These are very important uh, activities uh, in our democratic dispensation. I worked with CDD for a very long time, at least for the past 20 years, uh, with Professor Jima Boidi and uh, later on Mr. Paul. Uh, all uh, CDD programs, uh, I was involved because the palace was involved. So, uh, Professor Jima Boidi even came to the palace and his interactions with the chief at that time was very cordial. And I think that that relationship has grown to today. And uh, from sitting outside and hearing what CDD does, especially in our local governance system of the country, you know, is par excellent. And uh, I would uh, entreat them, you know, to do more engagement with stakeholders especially with the traditional authorities. When you go to Terminal 3 of KIA, you would get to know that young people have lost confidence in our democracy, democracy, because they want to leave the shores of Ghana. And it is our, as a result of our inability to consolidate the democracy that was birthed in the 1990s. CDD is actually doing a great job in this regard because it's, it's actually trying to instill in us the, the values of democracy and as young people we have ever ready to embrace it. As a person with disability I did participate in many of CDD's, CDD's work in terms of uh, Kodeo's work monitoring elections. 
I did participate together with some of uh, the disabled people in the northern region as well as other parts of the country in CDD's research on Afrobarometer and other research work where we look at equality, civilian relation. People with disability did participate and I as a person, I participated. So CDD in its work as a totality or as a whole is very inclusive. As today, the program, they did invite us and we have participated and we did contribute. They could have left us out, but looking at the, where we come from, there is more information where they could get from us. That's why they included us. I joined the center that CDD Ghana on the 5th of January 2001. And I came here as a cleaner. I was changed to be in charge of the facility. Initially, I didn't know anything about democracy. And even though when I came in, I was told how democracy means, understood it in a different way. But as time goes on, I have really understand when they say democracy, what it talks about, and how it means and how it stands for. When you are ready or you are humble to learn something, the directors are free, you can ask them any questions and kind of thing. Whenever there is a program, you can go and sit in, you can get a handout and then learn something from it. It's a place that when uh, you don't know something, they can groom you and then make sure that at least you become somebody and therefore, even if it's not your field, you can be able to understand what is going on. The Regional Outreach Programme has indeed been an interesting and revealing moment for the Centre, especially in its engagement with its stakeholders. This undoubtedly will map out the Centre's strategic five-year plan as it continues to bridge research and practice to promote good governance.